Hello denizens of YouTube, Mike here today with a brand new custom PVC saber to share with you all. And I know that I had said in the last video that I wasn't planning on touching any PVC. But as I've discovered, when I get stressed or when times are driving me crazy, working with PVC or just working with my hands in general has been a really good way for me to stay sane. And with med school getting really, really fun, especially with all the board exams coming up, I have found that I needed it more than ever. So with that being said, I decided to do a little personal project and make myself a Shoto Saber to accompany the Sentinel Mark II. And that ultimately gave me this. This is going to be called Kibo no Hibana, which translates to Hope's Spark or Spark of Hope. If you remember when I made the Sentinel Mark II, I had engraved on the front of the saber the phrase Zenkokouro, which translates to one catastrophe closely on the heels of another, or out of the frying pan and into the fire. And just after everything that's been going on with medical school and life, you know, tests and all that fun stuff, I said, you know what, I think I'm going to go for something a little more motivation, a little more hopeful, just to serve as... Well, motivation to realize, you know, hey, you know, there's more to life than just this. You know, it's stressful now, but, you know, eventually things get better. So, yep, this little guy right here is my motivational piece. And he is, a, it's actually, yeah, it's a little saber. Um, I was able to successfully get it to only 8 inches, which is really cool because, again, going back to the Sentinel Mark II, um, that is, I believe, 14 and a half, 13 and a half inches long, and that is a lot shorter than the Sentinel Mark I, which was, I believe, 16 inches long. And I know that most sabers typically run about 11, 10, 12 inches in length, so I figured, you know, we're going to go the other end of the spectrum, and we're going to try and make a little itty-bitty lightsaber. So that's what I managed to do, and I'm I'm very happy with it. I like it a lot. Uh, just it's a very I went with a very simple design. Um, just have a inch and a quarter diameter shroud. Just cut out these two rectangular windows, where you have your inch diameter um, inner piece. We have our female uh, threaded end, our male threaded end with our end cap, and then an inch and a quarter diameter PVC piece to cover up the thread. And then we have all of our button head screws just holding everything together, holding it sturdy. Um, on this side here we have our, I want to say 12 millimeter anti-vandal switch. And originally this actually came in black. And I decided, you know what, we're going to make this, you know, we're going to make this theme more like metallic-y. So I decided to just buff off the top here so you can see, you can kind of see a little bit of the buffing there. And just expose the silver underneath. Now as for the paint job, how I got this color, I actually used Sharpie metallic markers for this. I used Sharpie metallic silver for this ring and for the inch diameter inner chassis pieces. And then I used the metallic bronze Sharpie for everything else, for this inch diameter shroud, for the female, male threaded, and um, end cap piece. And so I just did went over this, I think, probably like two or three times with the Sharpie markers, and then I hit them with a coat of two or clear coat to seal everything in. Otherwise, it would smudge on my hands if I tried to handle the saber. So, yeah, and I think it came out pretty nicely. I actually really like it. I really like the bronze color, and I like the way that because of the Sharpie, it didn't kind of just slather on uniformly like a paint marker or spray paint would. It kind of gives this wearing effect like there's like lines of wear and not as much color and it kind of gave this old worn uh metal look which i really really like completely unintentional but i really like it so just starting from the bottom and working our way up we have our end cap our pommel threaded for or ventilated for air again we have our male adapter piece ring female and then we have just our uh, shroud here. And then inside you can see the LED. Internally we are running a Luxon Rebel Amber, just a single amber LED, a single 18650 lithium ion cell, and we are using resistors to regulate the current. I finally decided, you know what, I, I should probably 
try to figure out how to do the single lithium ion setup, I keep seeing all these other Sabersmiths, um, Shamim, Jordan Mall, uh, I'm trying to think of others, uh, uh, Mad Cow, all those guys, they were just using these single lithium ion setups, and I'm like, you know what, I should probably learn how these guys are doing it as well, because they're able to make much smaller hilts, and they have more room to cram stuff in, so, and also, soundboards, which I'm, you know, eventually would like to do, they only run on a single lithium ion cell, so, figured it'd be a good idea to learn how to do the setup. So I went on the custom saber portal, uh, custom saber, custom saber shop, ooh, forum, and then I found, like, the dirty Ohm's Law calculations that they have, and just learned it, and plugged away, and managed to figure it out, I believe. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it internally and externally. Oh, also, here we have the name. You see, uh, Kibol here, Hope, No, and then Hibana. So it, this is Spark and Hope. So literally translate to Hope's Spark, or it can be taken to mean Spark of Hope. All right, I think that's pretty much everything. So we can uh, throw a blade in here, and you guys can check out the color. This is a 26 inch V4 Infinity Edge blade by Saber Forge. So what I'm using here is I have my side screw here and my main screw here. So both of these act to retain the blade in the PVC, again, due to the lack of perfect fit in the PVC material. And here's the color. You can kind of see it in person. Well, definitely see it in person, but you can kind of see it on camera. Actually, turn off the lights. There we go. So, it's kind of hard to see just looking at the blade, but if you look at my hand here, that actually is a pretty good representation of what the color is in person. And as you can see, both on camera and in person, it goes all the way up to the tip. It's very nice. In person, it's very nice and evenly illuminated. And it also is the same with a 32 inch. I was a little kind of skeptical about, you know, how longer blades were going to be, but yeah, I threw in the 32 inch blade that I used for the Sentinel Mark II, and it's the exact same thing. Nice and evenly lit, and looks really cool on camera. And so the usual. Nice and sturdy, not going anywhere. Also, kind of a fun little thing I've learned is that when you apply marker to PVC as opposed to paint, it doesn't completely cover the PVC. So when you have the blade turned on, the light will shine through the PVC. And this was totally unintentional, but I kind of like the way that it turned out. I think it's a a neat little effect. It's kind of just a nice, gentle glow, which is kind of cool. And I definitely will be using for future builds. Turn these back on. So there you have it, guys. Uh, Kibono no Hibana, Spark of Hope. Just a little personal project that I did for myself just to keep myself sane. And I really like how it came out. It's nice to have a little Shoto Saber. Um, and I look forward to getting back into saber making again. I think I will probably wind up making another saber sooner than later. But until then, I hope you all take care. Thank you very much for watching and liking and subscribing. I can't believe I'm actually close to 100 subscribers. That's like... I know, like, in the grand scheme of things, compared to everyone else on YouTube, that's, like, a very tiny sum, but it's still kind of cool, like, I'm getting close to 100 people subscribed to me on YouTube. I think it's kind of neat. But anyways, again, thank you so much. 
Take care, and may the Force be with you. Always.